In our 15th program of uh, part B, we have to demonstrate the use of an external interrupt to toggle an LED on or off. Okay, so uh, using this diagram, I'll be explaining what uh, what's actually happening here. Here we have an LED, and here we have the uh, microcontroller, and here we have the interrupt. Okay, so uh, what's happening? Uh, what's happening is whenever this button is pressed here, see this button is not connected initially. So whenever this uh, button is pressed here, this connection is made here, and then the connection is directly connected to the ground right this is the uh, p not 15 okay 15th um, slot okay in 15th slot the connection is directly made to ground so at that time the voltage will become zero so what's happening is whenever we click this button the voltage will become zero okay so what should happen is whenever i click that button when the voltage becomes zero the led should turn on okay so that's uh, that's the whole working of the program that's an interrupt because uh, me pressing the button is an interrupt and it should indicate something that uh, an interrupt has happened so we'll indicate it using the led okay so let's move on to the function in the function we have uh, int main here and along with that two functions interrupt request external isr and um, initialization of external interrupt okay these two functions are there first is for uh, initializing the interrupt uh, means uh, this is the interrupt right like if i press this button at that time the led should uh, turn on that initialization is made in the function here and then the application part is here okay like turn on and turn uh, turn off led okay so let's start from the main function in the main function we have uh, only two lines of code this for the infinite loop and here we have um, initialization external interrupt okay so first this function is called in this function there are few lines of code here which will be looking what each line of code does okay Firstly, we have, we have written here uh, external mode is equal to 0x4, okay. So, this uh, this number hexadecimal value um, makes those bits high in which the edge sensitive mode uh, on uh, external interrupt 2, okay. What is external interrupt 2? The thing which, uh, which is here is known as external interrupt 2, okay. This particular interrupt which is connected to um, P not 15, okay. So, whenever we write this line of code here external mode at that time the uh, edge sensitive mode uh, turns on okay means if any change happens here that will be detected okay that we are enabling then uh, what mode we are setting is falling edge what does falling edge mean see in the previous semester we have studied that falling edge means uh, dropping from higher level to lower level right so what's happening here whenever we connect this one by uh, pushing the button at that time the voltage turns from uh, higher voltage to directly to ground right so we are um, setting the um, particular pin to sense that falling edge okay so uh, that's why we have written this code here external uh, polar means polarity we have set it's a falling edge sensitive okay and then we are uh, writing pin select 0 is equal to 0 x 8 and followed by 7 zeros select pin function p not 15 okay by writing this code the uh, which pin is selected this one p not 15 okay firstly we have initialized this then the falling edge then the, which pin we have to use okay pin uh, p not 15 has to be used so we are writing that one okay so that will be activated and after that uh, we are selecting um, ve uh, vector interrupt select and is equal to one um, left shift 16 times okay that means external interrupt 2 selected as uh, interrupt request 16 interrupt request 16 means this one whenever we click any um, means if any interrupt happens here at that time the LED should glow that is known as uh, external interrupt 16 that is defined in the uh, register so that we are selecting for the this one this uh, interrupt request okay and then the next line of code um, these three lines of code we are just uh, what we are doing we are uh, taking the address of this register means in this register the LED function is there right so what we are doing here is uh, firstly we are taking the address of this function and that address we are assigning to our register and by using that register we are enabling the interrupt request here okay and then uh, finally we are um, external interrupt or is equal to 0x4 means we are uh, switching on the uh, external interrupt after this has been done whenever we click uh, this key here at that time LED should glow at uh, whenever we click here at that time this function will be called external ISR okay ISR means interrupt service routine and uh, underscore IRQ tells that it's a uh, function is an interrupt routine okay means a uh, normal function of code is going on at that time if any uh, interrupt happens at that time this function should run okay that's known as uh, interrupt and here what we have is first we are setting the direction means it's uh, input or output so uh, IO set 1 um, left shift 16 times when we set the 16 bit of um, uh, IO register that is for the LED 
So it's configured in this way, like in the 16 bit of the register, it's uh, for LED. So when we set that high, the LED will turn on. Then this function is for delay, means uh, this for loop will run for this many times. And for each time when it runs, for each time when it runs, it will uh, not do anything. It will just um, delay for some time. And then after this gets over, it will turn off. Okay, so uh, we will be able to observe the glowing of LED for some amount of time. Okay, and then after that, we are clearing the interrupt. Means this interrupt is over after this time. And then we are uh, returning the address to zero. Means we are restarting the program. Okay, when the address is returned to zero, the normal execution of the program uh, resumes. Okay, means whatever the program was doing. Okay, so to wind up, what happens is, firstly, we are um, initializing this. Uh, um, interrupt here after initializing interrupt we are setting it to falling edge and then p not 15 is selected whenever this happens it should um, glow the led so for that we are setting the address and all of the led to the vector register and whenever the interrupt happens led will turn on it will get delayed for some time and after the delay it will again turn off and uh, external interrupt will be cleared and then uh, it will uh, resume the normal execution of the program okay so this is all what uh, we have to do in this program let's uh, move on to the next one